Okay, now I spin here. Um, today let's model this this pattern. Okay, so um, the the hardest part of this exercise is to find the pattern. So we all know that this is uh, this is a, a a shape, and then repeat, right? But how can we um, convert it into a pattern that we can easily model it in Revit? So this is how. So you can see if I after I draw some line, so you can see it becomes a a very simple rectangular uh, shape, not actual rectangular, but yeah, close to <laughs> uh, diamond shape. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, re uh, can't redo. I uh, can't undo. That's fine. I'll just draw another two line. Okay. So we 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 just need to create this. So I'll just just do a bigger one. So what we need to do is in this pattern. So we just find need to find those points. So see this one, this one, this one, this one, and it's here, so one third of this line, same one third here, one third, and here, one third. And then after that, we need so this vertical, so we just need to connect this vertical and find that this point the same one third, and uh, and then here vertical. So this one go up. We just need to connect that. So we use another one third point. So and then we can create this vertical line, and then we use another one third. So connect this. So we get this point, and then we just need to connect this point. So we have this. Okay. So this, this, this. So it's one. Uh, maybe um, not. Oh, let me just. I'll just finish this uh, color first. So we an had another one point here and connect to this point and we have this point and connect them. And this one we just need to uh yeah, it's not uh no 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 not here. <laughs> uh this one go here and this one go up there okay we don't we don't need this one sorry about that yeah i think this is it this this is the so yeah i'll just change the color blue so what we need is we need um we need this line okay we need this line and we need this line we need this line this line, this line, this, this, and here. So from here to here, and then from here to here. So this is all the line. So this is the shape we need, right? So, oh, and also here, and also here, and also here. So this is a pattern we need. Okay, so now let's go to Revit. So first, let's create a pattern. Oops, wrong one, sorry. Oh, what, what am I doing? Get this close. New pattern-based family. Okay, so this is a, the one we need, so rectangle. Okay, so now, Place first, place point, play, place all the points we need. So I just place, use draw on face. One, two, three, four, five, six. And also connect these two points and make, just check the reference, uh, make a reference line. And then once again, one, two. Okay, so now I'm going to select the points and just make sure. So this one's a big beginning from here. Measure from that point. So this one, I'll flip this. So flip this, flip this. All good, all good, all good. Flip this. So 
to because uh, why I want to flip them because I wanted to use oops 0 0.33333 to control all these points or so now it's all done and then we can connect these two create a spline make it reference line connect these two and make a reference line and then connect these two and create a reference line and then connect these two and create a reference line okay so now we need to get these two points so place a point draw on face onto this one onto this one select, select this point uh, host point by intersection pick this line same this one pick this line okay so now we have this point um, and I think we have all the points we need so to make it easier because currently we have all these reference lines uh, we don't need reference lines so I'll just hide them I'll use the filter to uncheck everything else and HH so it make it easier for us to uh, to um, to figure out which <laughs> uh, which one's missing or yep so now we have all these points we just need to connect all these uh, create all these blue color line use draw use create spline through points and okay so one here it's, it's actually not very clear maybe I'll just TL still still not showing uh, change the scale TL oh. uh, maybe change the scale to yep yeah. oh. 1000 oh that's thick enough maybe 500 yeah that's that's better so now once this one and this one create a spline and this one this one create a spline this one this one spline through points this one this one spline through points um, this one and this oh it looks like we don't need this point oh yes we we do so because we need to use this this reference line and this reference line to get this point so yep that's all good and okay so this one this one and these two and this one 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 so now we have I think we have all the lines we need um, yep all good yeah so this is it and now we can um, create let's create a new mess and let's uh, quickly just place some spline through points and create a mess create form I'll just uh, I'll just uh, uh, adjust one point you know or two or maybe three to make it uh, more interesting okay so now select this mass and use divided surface and that's all go back to this pattern load this into this mass select this divided surface and go here pick that pattern so this is it so now you can see this uh, yeah match that um, and also you can adjust the the number so for example currently fixed number if I change this one to 20 and 20 become smaller and also <laughs> takes longer because yeah that's more from 100 to 400 All right so this is a pattern and also uh, let me just change it back to 
larger one so f far can be faster and you can also adjust to the size currently it's quite um, um, skinny so this one's more very uh, hexagon <laughs> so this one's a little tall uh, you can I think you can try to rotate so to make instead of you a rectangular to create like a diamond shape or I'm not not I'm not quite sure so let me try oh yeah it does work uh, for the those in the middle but it'll create all these <laughs> edge um, which um, I'm not sure why this is happening happening so let me try empty uh doesn't work yeah just get rid of all all, all those uh, edge one overhand yep not quite sure um maybe you can have a play i think this changes the shape a little bit maybe i'll just add a little bit more so yeah so yeah i think it looks better in the middle but yeah not not sure how to how to deal with this uh, maybe maybe change this back yeah okay so um yeah so just have a play see if you can figure out how to clean up the edge with those uh, rotation angle with this uh, grid rotation to adjust the shape to match this but yeah uh, and that's it for today so just uh, a little exercise uh, about a pattern based family how to figure out a pattern and then um, create in you using the pattern based family so if you have any questions please let me know i'll see you next time thank you bye